Public monuments, spaces, and historical sites, including blue holes and cemeteries, will now be better maintained and developed. This following the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Antiquities, Monuments, and Museums Corporation and the Public Parks and Public Beaches Authority this morning at Collins House. AMMC Chairman Courtney Strawn and the PPBA Authority Chairman Senator Greg Burroughs both agree the MU, MOU pardon me, bodes well for improving the national landscape for the enjoyment of Bahamians, residents and tourists alike. With a $1 million budget, they noted that the scope of work includes the family islands and preserving the legacy of people and places of note. Senator Greg Burroughs invites corporate Bahamas to join in this public-private par public partnership venture. I know that we will have to call on you for some of your knowledge particularly on some of the historical parks that we have with all the, the, um, the archaeologists and all the other brain that you all have in your corporation. I know that we need your brain more than ever before because there's a lot of holes, there's a lot of buildings, there's a lot of parks that we, ma we manage that we don't have historical data on. So it's, we are pleased to, to sign this memorandum of understanding and to be partner with, with you here today. Director of the corporation, Dr. Keith Tinker, says this is a wonderful partnership. If we take, for instance, just one island, one of the family islands, and we look at the personalities in the family islands, we hear from time to time about these personalities, but there is nothing that really memorializes these persons. But you can now, in the future, go into a heritage park, and you can read about a personality that made a significant contribution to that particular island itself. Um, similarity on the national level, we have national heroes. Many of them are not being recognized. This provides an opportunity for these personalities to be recognized either in signage and or in statue, but at least to be recognized so that posterity can become aware of who these people are and what their contributions were to nation building.